Hi, I'm Sam. In the summer term um, of 2007, I left because I was going to go to drama school and move to London um, to seek fame and fortune. Yeah, drama school was fun. I went to Lambda, did the three year acting course. Like I had a good time there, met loads of really amazing people, had some great teachers, um, learned some cool stuff. Um, I think the best thing about it was the people I met. Yeah, same with um, same with stage two as well. Like someone was just asking me a second ago about um, what was like, what was your biggest, what was your biggest achievement or something like that. The main thing was probably mates. Like I made loads of really amazing mates. All the people I knew, um, Billy Coughlin, he's at Mount View at the moment in his final year, um, and he's like really good friend. We see each other all the time and stuff. Yolanda Kettle, who um, she was, uh, we were at stage two at the same time, and we like auditioned with each other at the same time, and then we lived with each other at Lambda where we both went. Um, <clears throat> and then, like, um, loads of other people um, as well, like Mike Hayden, Luke Way, Ellen Cummins, and Joel Blackledge, and Selma Wilcox, and Co. And I think that was the best thing. Like, that's that's usually the best thing about any sort of institution, I suppose, is that you get to meet loads of like-minded people, um, which is sort of the best thing. The Lambda exams were amazing that we did at stage two. Um, but they were they were great because it was they were an introduction to lots of new plays that I wouldn't have read otherwise, um, and uh, a way of learning lots of pieces that I then used for drama school auditions. The first show I did was um, Sided with Rosie, <clears throat> which was awesome, and we went to the Cotswolds and uh, uh, went and looked at Laurie Lee's old house and saw Laurie Lee's grave. Then we did Daughters of Albion, that was really cool. Much Ado was after that. And then I did two as well, which was great, which Yolanda and Luke were like the main parts in, and they were awesome. I think that's the most sort of invaluable thing as well, is that I did like four shows in a year and a half, which is sort of pretty amazing, and then helped so much for when I, I then went and um, produced the show um, at the Midlands Arts Centre at the MAC. Um, and that, that was, I mean, the experience I had of just doing shows with stage two was just invaluable, I suppose, um, because, just, you just get to learn a load of stuff that you couldn't possibly learn through theorising or by someone telling you what um, making a show entails. Um, you just learn through getting on with it and doing it. We did an accents workshop, it was really cool. Um, it's where I first met Ellen as well, we did that with Ellie Darville. Um, that was really, really cool and we, it was a sort of little introduction to phonetics, which we then did quite a lot of at drama school, which is really useful because it was always the it was ever so slightly academic, and I think I missed academia a little bit at, um, at drama school. So that was quite nice to have that in and to have a sort of little head start with it as well. What stage two instilled in people, which was to yeah take responsibility for yourself and to do all your work and to get um, I don't know to feel a, a sense of pride about the work that you were doing and the only way that you could make sure that making sure that you weren't a problem, I suppose. Um, and making sure that you could do it to the best of your abilities so that other people could then do it to the best of their abilities as well when they were doing the scenes with you. It's just the most important thing, so yeah, taking responsibility for yourself so that the ensemble can do as well as possible.